Presenting the 7th Annual Next Gen Under 30 Awards Ceremony held at the Embassy Suites Convention Center in Norman, Oklahoma on October 20th, 2017. Made possible by St. Anthony Hospital, the Chickasaw Nation, American Fidelity Assurance Company, Hobby Lobby, Jones PR, Express Employment Professionals, First Liberty Bank, and by Keep Oklahoma Beautiful. Here to bring greetings on behalf of the Next Gen Oklahoma Ambassadors are two young women from Ada who were part of the founding retreat that launched Next Gen into a statewide effort. Jaylee Thompson of Vision Bank and the chair of the Ada Young Professionals and Joy Moon of the Chickasaw Nation and also a board member of the Ada Young Professionals. Let's welcome them to the stage. It's our pleasure to welcome you to the second statewide recognition of Next Gen Under 30 honorees. What a wonderful way of showcasing the amazing amount of talent and energy we have right here in Oklahoma. Garrett Johnson is an example of the new energy infusing the Next Gen Oklahoma Leaders Movement. Next Gen Under 30 first came on the scene in 2011. Until tonight, seven years later, None of this would be possible without the generous and dedicated sponsors. Since its first year in 2011, Next Gen Under 30 has showcased many exceptional leaders. Erica Gray was one of them in the 2013 class. Erica is a branch manager for Addison Group. This next group of Next Gen Under 30 honorees represents the energy and transportation, finance, and hospitality categories. The energy sector employs roughly 20% of all working Oklahomans. Jason Shepard is branch manager of the Bank First Downtown Oklahoma City location. He is also a 2016 Next Gen Under 30 honoree and a member of the Next Gen Ambassadors. I began my banking career back in 2007, which some of you might know that that kind of led up to one of the worst financial you know, downturns and everything in our history. And yet, in those early years, I found myself with a profound sense of duty to the banking industry of how it's tied to the communities it serves. My core values actually stem from Northwest Oklahoma, back in Woodward, where I learned to treat everybody with dignity and respect. It is my pleasure to introduce Stephanie Cameron. Hi everyone, I'm so glad to be here with you representing Tulsa and Type Rose. The mission of Tulsa's Young Professionals is to attract and retain young talent, develop the next generation of leaders, and enhance Tulsa's sense of place. We are 9,000 members strong. We aim to be an advocate and a voice for young talent. I want to congratulate all of the honorees tonight and encourage you to continue your commitment to our communities. This is our time to shape our state and to become leaders. Whitley and Rania O'Connor saw a need while still in college and brought the idea of helping the homeless by giving them a job in the world of publishing and self-employment. They founded the Curbside Chronicle, a magazine produced and distributed by the homeless in Oklahoma City. Solving our world's greatest challenges takes hard work, innovation, and cross-sector collaboration. It takes everyone. At the Curbside Chronicle, we are working to end homelessness one interaction at a time, and it is truly an honor and privilege to be here tonight, recognizing peers from across the state who are working hard to improve their own communities. In 2011, Evan Vincent walked across the Next Gen Under 30 stage to be recognized for his quick start in his professional experience. Evan had already distinguished himself academically. He was an honor graduate in aerospace engineering at the University of Oklahoma, but that was not enough. In law school, he was a distinguished member of the Oklahoma Law Review. Evan is a director with the Crow and Dunleavy Law Firm in Oklahoma City, where he has already distinguished himself as a young attorney to watch. He is also making his first foray into the political arena as a candidate for state senate. And he is active on the board of directors of the Oklahoma Blood Institute. Tonight, he's here on our 2017 stage to challenge our honorees to go on to do greater things. I now present a member of the 2011 Next Gen Under 30 class, Evan Vincent. Thank you very much for uh, letting me speak to you tonight. To 
share with you a quote that kind of exemplifies my thought as uh, to what leadership is. And it's uh, from a woman named Peggy Noonan, who used to be a speechwriter for President Reagan. She uh, wrote the, helped him write the speech that he gave after the Challenger shuttle disaster. And uh, it, I read it one morning in, it was, she, it was part of an editorial she was doing in the Wall Street Journal, and it just jumped out at me. I thought, this is, this is exactly, that's exactly right. I sat down and wrote it on uh, an index card, and I keep that index card on my desk, and I look at it from time to time just as a reminder, and so I'll read it to you now. But it's a great mistake when you are in a leadership position to want to be like everyone else, because that actually is not your job. Your job is to be better and to set standards that those below you have to reach to meet. And you have to do this even when it's hard, even when you know you yourself don't quite meet the standards you represent. Well, all of the honorees tonight, all of the alumni of this, I believe we do represent those standards, and so I challenge you tonight, please live up to them. Thank you for supporting your honorees, and thank you for being part of the NextGen Under 30 program. Find out more about nominating for 2018 at nextgenunder30.com.